Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation. And today on Habitat Hints, we're gonna talk wildflowers and why they're so important and what's the purpose behind them and why are they so beautiful? Just all the kinds of fun little things on Habitat Hints today. And I'm actually gonna be joined by MDC's Ashley Schnocky and she's gonna tell us all we need to know about wildflowers. Hey there, Ashley. So we're talking wildflowers today and we're standing in a lot of wildflowers. Why are these wildflowers so good for the environment? Can you tell us how? what's the whole goal behind this? So these wildflowers are so important to the environment because one, they are native to Missouri. These wildflowers have evolved to the Missouri climate, the Missouri soils, and also the Missouri insects that utilize all the area around here. When I mean soils, they have root systems that hold the soil to stop erosion, and helps stop water running off faster because of the deepest soils and then also because of their upright stem structure that also helps slow the flow of water also as we are facing downhill water mm-hmm. will flow down uh, see the beautiful be- these beautiful pollinators and pollinators beautiful wildflowers they're great for pollinators fantastic for pollinators my big thing is is The cool thing about this is we're in Springfield. This isn't like outside in the rural area. We are in the city limits and we are talking wildflowers. You can see them. So if someone wants to plant these or wants them a part of their neighborhood or community, how could someone go about by doing this and why should they do this? That's right. Wildflowers aren't just for the prairie and they're not just for out in the country. They're for your front yard and your backyard also. You can go about getting these wildflowers through uh, Grow Native has a resource guide that can tell you where you can get all these Missouri natives to plant in your backyard or your front yard. And Grow Native is a a huge partner that Missouri Department of Conservation works for all the time, correct? Correct. And you can learn more about them, I think, on our website. And you can also grownative.org, right? Grownative.org. They not only have a resource guide that tells you where you can get these plants, but they also have beautiful landscape designs already created. So if you're curious on, I don't even know where to start, you can go on the Grow Native website and find those landscapes designs already put together. If you want a songbird, they have a songbird one. If you want butterflies or hummingbirds, they have a hummingbird and a songbird and butterfly one. Yeah. So what we were talking about earlier before we started going live, uh, the importance of where some places you know, in Springfield have ordinances. Can you kind of tell us a little bit about kind of that urban spin about this? Why it's how you can plant, how you go about it and so forth like that. Right. So if you live within the city limits, you know about ordinances and there normally is a weed ordinance associated with that. That weed ordinance is to ensure that a vacant lot or a lot doesn't become wild looking. Mm -hmm. However, there are normally caveats within that ordinance that says if it looks on purpose or if it's utilizing Missouri native plants, that you are still within that ordinance and it is not technically in violation of that ordinance code. All right, and so so definitely check those out before you go ahead and start planning and, and putting out natives. But you know, Wildflowers bring benefits more than people realize. You know, pollinators are one of the biggest benefits, and I don't think poll- poll- people understand how the importance of pollinators, especially bees. You know. Yes, it's it's not just about the butterflies. It's about the moths and the flies, even and the bees that are utilizing and pollinating not only our wildflowers but also other flowers and agricultural crops. And just because we think agricultural out in the country those pollinators within the city limits are still venturing outside. They have a a broader range than what we typically associate with. So again, I'm going to ask you, you know, I know you kind of talked on it a few minutes ago, but where can people learn more about this? If they want, if they live and have some acreage here in Springfield and they want their backyard to look like this, where can they learn more about that? So you can go on our MDC webpage. You can visit Missouri Prairie Foundation, which is a great partner of ours, or you can visit the Grow Native Partner website as well. That has a lot of good resources. Thank you very much, Ashley. I appreciate it. And again, I'm going to echo what you said. If you want to learn more about wildflowers and their benefits and where you can get more information on, hey, if you want to plant some of these beautiful wildflowers in your backyard or in your community, in your neighborhood, 
Go on our website at mdc.mo.gov and search wildflowers, or you can go on gronative.org and find all the information you would like to know. Thanks for tuning in today on, wild, on uh, Habitat Hints.